Look What's Cooking is brought to you by the Culinary Institute of Virginia. Hi, I'm Bonnie Johnson here with Chef Patrick Kearney from the Culinary Institute of Virginia School of Culinary Arts of ECPI University. And what do we have for us today? Today I have a dish that's called gnocchi. It's a potato gnocchi with a basil pesto cream sauce. Oh, it looks yummy, but you're actually going to tell us how to make homemade gnocchi. Absolutely. It's uh, very simple. Yes. It's it's one of my favorite dishes at home. My family, we get together, and it's a good dish to get the family together because you can get everybody involved. Okay, well, walk us through how you make it. The first step is we take the potatoes, we bake them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 425 degrees mm -hmm. till they're tender. Cut them in half, scoop out the flesh, put it on the table, mash it with a fork, or if you have a food mill or a food process, or not a food processor, but a food mill, run it through that, it'll be nice and smooth. Mix flour, egg, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese. The egg and cheese are optional. Okay. But you have to have the flour, the salt and pepper, and the potato, of mm -hmm. course. Mix it all together until it becomes a nice soft dough. You roll it out into little rolls, about a half an inch wide, and then cut them out about an inch. Roll them down the back side of a fork, drop them into boiling salted water, and when they're done, they'll float. Take about five minutes. You scoop them out, put them on the side, and let them rest. And in the saute pan, We'll take the cream, reduce it slightly, and then we add the gnocchi into the pan, reduce that. The starch will come out and thicken the sauce a little bit, and then we simply finish it with the basil pesto. And we actually have um, basil pesto. We have the recipe on WTKR.com. You made that on an earlier segment or later segment, whichever the case may be. So we'll have that if you want the pesto recipe. But so simple and easy. And as you said, the kids, everybody can get involved. You can use the fork. It's really a cool thing to do and yummy, yummy. So if you want to try it, recipes at WTKR.com. For more information about them, check out ChefVA.com. Look what's cooking.